Hello, um, welcome to the van. We're gonna give you a tour of everything we've done inside. Um, and then for any individual specific instructions, uh, look at our blog and we'll have little detailed videos on how to do each part of the van. Uh, Marmalademoon.org. All right, so come on in. Here's our funky sliding step. Oh yeah. That came with the ambulance, fortunately. All right. First thing into is the kitchen. Most of the structure is made by these battens, which are one inch by one inch. Um, and the whole structure was built out of those and then we've covered it over with pallet wood, essentially, which is all free. So this is a very cheap unit to build. And then this was just 25 quid from home base, this top, and one cut along there. And it's made this nice sort of bat wing um, corner kitchen, which we, which we really like. Um, Hob was pretty cheap. Um, it's meant for kitchens, proper kitchens, not camper vans, but all the camper van specific hobs were really expensive. Um, if we just open it all up, we've got a fridge in here and all of our kitchen equipment, and then our two gas bottles down there um, one that's plumbed in and one that's a spare. Um, it needs 240 volts for the clicker to work, so we just use a lighter to turn it on, um, and it's great. Fridge there is a two-way, so it can be using on it can be used on 12 volt or 240 volt. So we usually use it on 12, unless we're at a campsite with a plug-in. And when we are, our plug-in goes from the side of the van and routes up to this plug, and then we can plug it into that. Um, and we also have a battery charger. We'll go into the electronics in a bit more detail in that specific blog. Um, but this is just a general show of the setup. And then we've also got our plumbing. So here we've got grey water, which is your waste, and fresh water. Um, the waste side is really simple, you just need a plug in the bottom of your sink. This is a trap, which means no smells can go from there all the way up out of the sink. And it goes straight down in. Um, and then here's our fresh water. So we've got two components to this. It's a seal flow pump and accumulator. So the pump draws the water out and the accumulator just basically offers you a bit of water without having to turn the pump on and also controls the flow rate. And then we come up and it comes up out of this tap, which was pretty funky, but only about 15 quid on Amazon. And yeah, there you go. Good running water. Pump's a bit loud, so that's what the accumulator's for. You can turn the pump off and it will still work. You've still got a litre of water there with no noise at all, which is great. Um, the rest of the kitchen, we just got bits of storage, cactuses. Behind here is the old, um, well, our chopping board and then the old control panel for the ambulance, which we've covered up. That's our dangly legged hermit crab fridge magnet. Uh, and then we just got bits and bobs of storage around, like our onions and vegetables and things like that. And our pedal bin as well, there. And then our tea towels, etc. All of our food goes up in there. We've also got two more storage containers there and there for all of our clothes, basically. All right, here we have our bench seat, which folds out into a neat little table where we can sit and eat, which is fantastic. And then the clever part is it comes all the way out and folds into a bed. So our friends can stay with us too, um, which is awesome. Uh, we've already had a couple meet us in Europe and we're having a few more meet us, um, so it's great to, to mean we can host people. And then we've got the library there. Um, these storage drawers all slide out. There's one there and one beneath. Uh, it means we have way more storage than we need. So we've actually got like a guitar under there and we could have so much more, but, but to be honest, we just don't need it. We've even got all this up here in the bulkhead. Loads and loads of storage. Um, yeah, it's a big van basically, bigger than most of the conversions we've seen and it just means we've got more space than, than probably we need. We've also got a little hatch here, which is another way of getting into the underbed storage rather than having to go around and behind. So if it's really raining quite hard, we can just get in that way. Um, and then the same is for under this seat. Um, this is also our clever contraption. So we've got loads of storage under both bench seats and this one also has a toilet so when the table's not there we can just go in there it's basically a fancy bucket but it was 20 quid and if we're in a city or it's an emergency we've got somewhere to go which is great otherwise we go out there 
Okay. Uh, all right, I think, oh yeah, don't forget the most important thing, the wine rack, courtesy of uh, Tasha's mum, a brilliant idea. And is that everything in here? I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. All right, cool, we'll take you around the back. Okay, here we've got our bed frame. We use some pretty hefty four inch by two inch um, uh, battens because we want it to be a solid structure and we've also bolted it into the chassis here and on the other side as well so that it can't, if there's ever an accident, it can't fly forwards at however fast and, and you know, cause damage in front. So it's all securely fastened down. Here's the uh, shelves we talked about from the back. So you can access them from both sides. Um, so we just got like swimming start, half empty box, winter clothes, and a stick to stop them falling off, which is nice. My favorite part of the van, my wardrobe on a bit of bamboo. Um, backpacking around Asia and Australasia for a year, all of my shirts were always so crumpled and I hated it. And yes, we've got somewhere to hang them, which is awesome. Then a load more storage is our laundry, um, tent and seats and the cable and uh, the guitar, like I said. Um, the mattress was from Ikea, um, wall to wall, it's five foot eight, which is Tasha's height, which is perfect for her. Um, but window to window is my height, which is ideal. So we built the mattress up at that exact height. So we've got that little bit extra length. Um, and then we just put a mattress topper on top of the Ikea mattress and it is so comfortable. And it's nice that we don't have to fold them out all the time. Um, Cause it was an ambulance, it already had a number of things in it, such as uh, extractor fans and roof vents. We kept those in because why wouldn't you? They've been brilliant. Every time we're cooking, it just lets the air out. It never gets sticky or cloudy or condensation-y in here. Um, and it also, there were some things we couldn't take out of the van, such as this hydraulic step. So we disconnected it and we peeled off the step there and said this is not fish, which is factual. Um, places to dry our towels. Um, which is great. We've got blackout blinds everywhere. They also came with the ambulance, so we can just have those pulled down at night, which is perfect. And yeah, that is the van. Um, I've not even mentioned the cladding, have I? Yeah. So first thing we did pretty much was the the like outside of the interior. So we did the floor, which is this um, just cheap laminate, sticky, like peel it off and stick it down. Um, we put that on top of a layer of plywood and some insulation. And then on the side, we just use these tongue and groove um, uh, like cladding planks. Because of all the bits in the ceiling, we couldn't actually use a single one, not a single one of the planks just went up into the ceiling. Uh, every single one had to be chopped or changed or, or cut around in some way. And then we just stained it with Danish oil and painted these and uh, added some nice fabric there just to give it a ni much nicer look. We have even wallpapered um, the bottom half of the inside walls um, just because they weren't going to be that visible. However, we didn't really like the old white plastic look, so we thought we'd just jazz it up even though it's not going to make that much of a difference and it was cheap. It was like a tenner for the roll. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was an awesome, awesome uh, fun converting the whole thing. We loved it. Ah, oh, got to show you these LEDs. Um, oh yeah, of course and electrics here. So we've got four USB slots and a voltage meter, which gives we can charge our items um, while we're asleep or while we're driving, which is brilliant. That's all hooked up to the leisure battery. Again, like I said earlier, for more information on that, look at the uh, electric section uh, of the blog. Um, yeah, anything else to mention? No? Yeah, so this is our van. Um, if you're thinking of doing something similar, please do go to marmalademoon.org, take a look at how we did each individual part. Um, and yeah, I'd recommend you do the same yourself because it was great fun. And even though we've only been touring around Europe for a month, it's just been so nice. And the freedom has been awesome. And look where we are, in the middle of a beautiful, beautiful autumnal forest. Perfectly free as well to stay here. Um, and yeah, so, Greetings from Croatia, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, feel free to get in touch if you have any questions.